So many of you have probably seen the uses auto mod badge on multiple different discord bots profile and today I'm going to actually be showing you guys how you can get this for your own discord bot and what this actually means. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So about two days ago discord released this blog post basically saying that the auto mod badge is now available for all applications. So basically you can read through this if you would like but it basically just says that you can actually implement auto mod into your application meaning you can create discord auto mod rules with your bot. Basically this means that you can have like an automod command where you can create rules and mention spam and keywords and all that and then discord will actually block it through their automod but you're creating it through your bot. For example this is the automod that I have set up within my discord server and I've created them all through esky which is my discord bot and it's all been created but it's actually going to block these messages by discord itself and not by my application even though that it was created by my application. So here is an actual discord support article article that tells you exactly what you need to do to actually get this automod badge on your bot's profile and it's actually very very simple all you need to do is have at least 100 automod rules across all servers that you created that is a pretty high number so it's pretty much just making sure that your bot is in multiple different servers because you can create a max of nine rules per guild so you're basically going to have to have 11 servers with nine automod rules created if you want to get this badge so this this is a command that Esky uses and other applications use to actually get the automod badge. So basically you can create up to nine rules in your server and this command is going to allow you to create all nine of them for a bunch of different things. Now I actually made a video on this exact command about like two weeks ago. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. I would recommend doing that. So you can watch the video, you can get all of this code for this command. And then from there, you can actually go ahead and run this command in a bunch of different servers to actually get the badge. So basically Basically in our server we can go ahead and run auto mod and for me I'm just gonna go ahead and do mention spam we can give the number five and this is all from the command I just showed and so make sure you watch that video but as you can see it's gonna go ahead and create the rule now I already have a bunch of rules created within this server and if we go over to safety setup and auto mod as you can see now we have spam mentions prevented by esky with the number five so my bot I basically just created an auto mod rule within the server so now discord is actually gonna go ahead and block all of these spam messages with mentions over the number of five from being sent in the server. So I've made a little example here. Now, I'm not recommending you guys do this. However, I'm assuming most of you guys are actually going to end up doing this because this is pretty much the only way to get the badge without waiting a ton of time and without waiting for a bunch of different people to add your bot to their servers and create all the automod rules necessary. So basically what you could do to get the badge, and this is technically allowed. I haven't seen any posts saying this is not allowed because it does basically just say that you have to have 100 automod rules across all servers so this should be allowed so you can go and create a bunch of all servers i guess you could say and you can go ahead and create auto mod rules on all of these servers and max it out so you can do nine and then you'll do nine times 11 or nine times 10 and that's going to go ahead and get you to 100 rules so the thing for my bot here esky is Obviously, I did this to get the badge right away because I wanted to make this video, but uh, it actually took about 12 hours for me to get the badge. What happened was I did this around 2 p.m. and I did some stuff and then I came back and I still didn't have the badge. I had to wait overnight and then when I woke up, I checked it about 8 a.m. So it took a little over 12 hours for me to actually get the badge, so just be patient. Once you go ahead and create all of the automod rules, 100 rules across all of your guilds, once you go ahead and create that, then you just have to go ahead and be patient and wait for the badge. It's not going to appear instantly, so if you don't get it right away, don't freak out. Just wait at least a 24 hours, I would say. And then if you don't go ahead and get that badge after that 24 hour period, you can go ahead and create a dev support ticket. I believe that's right here. And then you can go ahead and choose apps, and then you can go ahead and give your subject, which would be obviously automod badge. And you can request to see why you haven't actually been given the badge. But just keep in mind, don't do this unless you've waited 24 to 48 hours because the badge does take that amount of time to actually appear on your bot's profile. So this is actually pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's a lot of people asking about it in here. Feel free to join the dev server because that's where we're going to get all the information on this, including the links and all that stuff. And feel free to join my Discord because I can help you out as well. And if you have any questions, of course, go ahead and let me know in the Discord server. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.